Hello Collective, welcome back to the channel. This is your intuitively awakened star seed with a message for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, welcome. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. This is going to be a timeless reading. It is a general message and it is a reading for all zodiac signs, you guys. So please remember to use your discernment, only take what resonates and leave the rest. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, thank you guys so, so much for all of your support, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And I am sending you Palo Santos. I'm sending you love, light, gratitude, much appreciation for joining me on this journey of enlightenment, you guys. Let's go ahead and tap into your reading. Because I'm getting some type of wild, I don't know, just some energy around you and your person. This could be a separation, a no contact. As always, please take it how it resonates. Flip and switch the roles. And, you know, but uh, you guys, we're going to take a look at the energy surrounding your connection, okay? So, um, how your person's feeling. We're also going to get also to um, this the current intentions with your person, all right? So... Y'all, I am just picking up on multiple people here. I'm picking up on strong emotions a lot. I'm picking up on a lot of love, you guys. Yeah. So, you know, let's go ahead and tap into this reading. Please remember to take only what resonates with you. What does not, please leave it. All energy is fluid. It can be for your past, your present, your future. He, she, him, her people, places, things. Let's tap into the who, what, when, where, and why. Archangel Michael, please guide us during this reading and protect us. Any dark negative energy, please return to sender. And let's tap in. What is going on for the collective? I'm looking at these cards here. I'm getting Gemini energy. I got the lover's card, the first card that came out. I'm seeing lover's card. I'm also getting the energy of third party energy. Child, what else we got, spirit? Please give us more for the collective. What is going on here? Okay, judgment. Why just here it's time for somebody to wake up? It's time for somebody to wake up? I'm getting something being revealed. I'm seeing third party energy here, right? I'm picking up on a lot of romantic feelings. Yes. So this could be the third party. I don't third party energy with your person. Something like that. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. I'm seeing judgment card. It's like it's time to there's somebody's under judgment. I'm getting also to like resiliency, like second chances. New, what is Wait a minute. Okay, Seven of Cups. So we got choices. Choices and options. Huh. And then we got a victory. Oh. That Six of Wands is victory. It's clarifying the Three of Cups. But that's why I'm hearing like, wake up. So it's like somebody thought they had the victory or something like that. Somebody's losing it. I'm getting somebody is losing it behind the scenes, right? And this is all stemming. This is the energy, this romantic connection. Divine feminine, divine masculine. There's third party energy here. There's something to do with choices. Now, choices are options. Oh, oh, oh. It's clarifying the lover's card. That Gemini energy, that romantic energy. So I'm seeing here... Somebody's getting treated like an option. Third party. Wake up. Oh, oh. They thought it was a victory. Wait a minute, y'all. Oh, Spirit, please give us more. Somebody losing it behind the scenes here. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Mm -hmm. Happily ever after. Okay, so there's some cold energy coming for this third party is what I'm getting. Because I'm seeing option. I'm seeing thought this was a victory. And I'm seeing 
wake up like under judgment with happily ever after. So it's like it's time a judgment. Like there it's time to wake up. This is not their happily ever after or something like that. Oh child, spirit, please give us more. This is getting ready to be one of them harsh truth readings, right? Cold but true. That's I'm getting the energy. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Wow. Four of Swords. This is this is divine masculine energy. This divine masculine is like I'm picking up despair, deep despair. Like their energy is like can't eat, can't sleep, reflecting about you, reflecting about moments that you guys have shared. It's like deep regret, their head and their hand, like what did I do type of energy, just stressing over you. Ooh, something's being revealed here. Something's being revealed or has been revealed or will be revealed to this third party. Because I just keep hearing they thought some, ooh, child. Spirit, please give us more. Mmm. Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Six of Pentacles. This Divine Masculine wants equal give and take with you, Divine Feminine. I feel like something is being revealed to this third party, right? I don't know why I just heard dummy mission. Oh my goodness. Why am I getting this cold but true energy, right? It's like harsh truth. Wow. I'm seeing six of pentacles. That's equal give and take. So somebody wanting to show you. They want to show you that they can treat you the way you need to be treated or something like that with this card here, right? Yeah. Mmm. What else we got here, Spirit? There is... Child. It's like the truth is being exposed here or something. There's been like an illusion. They come in, this third party is coming into a knowing or an understanding. I feel like it's got them losing it. Like behind the scenes, they'll be, and then I just heard that dummy mission again. Look, this part, this third party was delusional and thinking that I feel like they could be who you were to this divine masculine if that's making sense divine feminine because i'm seeing here with the ten of pentacles i'm seeing abundance i'm seeing happily ever after this divine masculine wanted happily ever after with you right and this third party is under judgment i'm getting severe judgment heavy judgment right wow but it's how it's being revealed. Somebody's losing it, right? Spirit, please give us more. I'm getting like this anxious energy. See, Divine Feminine, you're doing your thing. I feel like during this separation or no contact, like you're doing your thing. You're stable, right? You're focused on yourself. It's like you're not chasing anybody, right? You release control to the universe. So, you're not chasing anybody, but somebody is got their eye on you. Somebody is, somebody is like watching you, spying on you. Yeah, this is somebody. This is this your ex. This this divine masculine, the person you're in separation from. But there's this third party that I feel like. They're just now finding out or something like that about how this divine masculine really feels about you. Oh, 
So you're over there doing your thing. I'm getting, you know, healing, doing your self-care. I feel like after the separation, right? You release control to the universe. It's like what's for you is for you. You realize this is your divine counterpart. But I feel like maybe you chalked it up to maybe this is just not your time or something like that. 10, 10 on the timer. Something coming to an end and a new beginning. Angel number 10, 10. I'm seeing here nine of pentacles, right? You're, you are this person's wish fulfillment. This person misses you. This person is still attached to you after the separation is what I'm getting. There's still an attachment, but it's like this, it's like unexpectedly, I feel like this third party really like stepped into their role or felt as though, this third party felt as though they were on track to forever with this divine masculine. This is getting ready to be some cold energy here. Oh, Ace of Cups. This, this divine masculine wants a new beginning with you. That healing, loving, nurturing energy. I'm getting that divine feminine energy here, right? With the Ace of Cups. This divine masculine is watching you. This divine masculine is watching you, divine feminine. I feel like after the separation, it felt like it was final. I feel like you were working on yourself, right? Healing, okay, doing your own thing. This divine masculine is watching all of this. They're spying. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. That's what's very attractive about you. You didn't chase them, right? This divine masculine watches you in your energy. This divine masculine finds you very beautiful is what I'm getting. Look at this. So I'm seeing seeing things from a new perspective. I feel like this divine masculine, I'm getting the energy to where as they're doing a lot of work. This divine masculine had some insecurities. I feel like this divine masculine felt in a sense like they didn't deserve you, right? Yeah, something like that. Ooh. Communication. Knight of Swords. This divine masculine wants to talk to you. And it's so, it has seen like a mode of transportation, right? So I'm seeing someone sitting in a car. It's not a car. It's more like for some of you guys, this is like whoever this person is could have an SUV, right? Something like a larger vehicle or something like that. I feel like now that's specific. That's for some of you guys. But I see this person like sitting and just like watching or staring. This person, I just feel like this person wants to be close to you. Now, this could be somewhere near your home, right? Because I'm picking up on people. People are still seeing this divine masculine around your home or your work, but you may not be aware of it. I feel like a lot of people are under the under the impression that you guys are still together or this is what this divine masculine is leading people to believe but I'm seeing this divine masculine wants to communicate with you and they want to they want this happily ever after they want this abundant beginning and I keep getting that like wake up or an awakening or something this third party found out i feel like this third party is finding out through people because i'm picking up on embarrassment or something like that this divine masculine could actually be telling people that you're still together mm. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. There's a lot going on here behind the scenes. I'm getting some illusions here. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Page of Cups. This divine masculine is blocking. Blocking anyone or trying to block anyone coming towards you. 
I'm seeing with the Page of Cups, this is a small love offer. Something to do with a small love offer, or this is like breadcrumbing, so this could actually be giving. That's why I'm getting that energy with this third party. It's like judgment. This person is still in love with you, Divine Feminine. This person never detached from you. And I'm getting, it's being revealed to this third party about this person's feelings for you. And it's got them losing it behind the scenes. And I feel like there's people exposing the truth, right? Sir, please give us more. Please give us more. Mmm. What else we got, Spirit? It's a transformation. I feel like there's an upheaval going on. There's some type of upheaval going on with this Divine Masculine, right? But this is something... Somebody has told this third party, like this divine masculine, look. <laughs> mm -mm. Seven of swords, sneaky, slick. Sneaky, slick energy, right? This, this third party is getting information from someone, right? Like, I feel like they're telling people like, oh, me and divine masculine, we're working on our future together. And stuff like that. And I feel like people are like side-eyeing this third party. Like, um, because I feel like there's some people that this divine masculine is putting it out there that you're still together. Or that this separation is temporary. But also, somebody has caught this divine masculine, has seen this divine masculine watching you. Or spying on you. And I feel like somebody has let this. This third party is finding out all kinds of stuff about this divine masculine when it comes to you. So this was all an illusion. This was all an illusion. Them being with this divine masculine. And like this future. I feel like this third party is ashamed. Yeah. Somebody is telling. I don't. Mm. Page of Swords. See that spying energy, sneaky Seven of Swords energy. And I'm getting transformation. So this is causing. There's chaos and conflict. I feel like this third party is confronting this divine masculine about this, right? Because they're like, people are saying, you're out here. Like, you know, they see you all the time, like, or you're watching Divine Feminine people in the community or like Divine Masculine's always around. I feel like this Divine Masculine, I'm sorry, you guys, this Divine Masculine got some antics with them, right? This Divine Masculine is like, they could be friends with a neighbor or your family member or something like that to whereas they keep hanging around. You may even be, you might have even been seeing this divine masculine like around people like I didn't know they were cool like that. Like you're starting to see divine masculine more often hanging around somebody that's close to you or a neighbor or something like that. Ciao. Steady watching you is what I'm getting. And this third party is finding out. Oh. Uh -huh. This is my masculine never detached from you. Still in love with you, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm seeing here. It's like. Everybody knows it. It's almost like everybody knows that this divine masculine is still attached to you and wants to come back towards you, except for this third party and this spying energy, Aquarius energy on the board. But divine feminine, this is somebody I feel like that you have moved on from. You started healing, right? 
This person never even offered you an apology, I'm getting, for what has taken place in the past. So it's like they never tried to make amends, and I feel like you began to put closure to this. This is your person, and it's not by coincidence that you keep seeing them or that all of a sudden they're developing all of these rapports with people around you and things like that. Child, they keeping tabs. Mm-hmm. Because they want to take action towards you. This, you know what? This Divine Masculine is a really, I'm getting very um, stealthy, like calculating, right? This is how they're watching to see if you're truly moving on. And also, too, they want to see if you're receptive to them. This Divine Masculine, oh, child. See? Because you're in that Queen of Swords energy. This Divine Masculine wanted to come back towards you after this Tower moment. Yep. The tower moment that they caused. Because they're still in love with you. King of Cups. Look at these cards. This is a divine union. They want to be back in that divine union. That unconditional love. That healing, loving, nurturing energy. This third party... You can see this Divine Masculine with this third party. This Divine Masculine could have this third party with them when they're hanging out. Or like when you see them near, like with your friends, family, something like that. This third party could be with this Divine Masculine. Child, it's all an illusion. And this third party is embarrassed because they're like, going along with this right and here they're finding out that they're only part of this divine masculine's plan to get your attention or trying to make you jealous it's like this divine masculine wants to see your reaction they want to know if you still care or not but i feel like to you divine feminine this divine masculine's looking like they moved on oh child and you done went and healed Miss Divine Masculine has never detached from you, right? Mm, 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 mm. This Divine Masculine wants to be back in balance with you. Why am I getting a play too much? Sagittarius energy on the board. This Divine Masculine is playing way too much. And I'm getting this is all being revealed to this third party. And there's somebody that's close to this divine masculine that's told this third party. Did this divine masculine still in love with you? So they got, somebody confirmed it. So I feel like this divine masculine has confessed their love to somebody about you. That's why I'm getting chaos and conflict, right? Mm-hmm. This divine masculine still suck on you, babe. Sure is. But I feel like there's like a series of events, right? It's like a series of events that you're noticing. It's like all of a sudden you're starting to see this divine masculine just as often or even more than when you were with them popping up. <laughs> Child, they just want to see you is what I'm getting. They want to see you. Uh-huh. Wow. Spirit, please give us more. Look at this. Knight of Cups. This Divine Masculine wants to make a love offer to you, and they messed up so bad. And now they're in this third-party situation, or I'm getting like they're with this third-party, this karmic energy, right? Because you pulled your energy back. They were way too messy, right? And they're still being messy, but it's with this third-party. Because you're who they truly love. This divine masculine has been so insecure. Divine feminine. You're part of the evening. Wait a minute. Okay. Divine feminine. I feel like when you're in people's energy, people tend to be like a shift in their energy. They act weird or like, you know, just not weird, but like uncomfortable or something, right? You, you're... Your presence is very powerful and you have a profound effect on people, right? That divine energy that you possess, okay? Now, this is a divine masculine that you're in separation from, right? That's fragmented. 
okay? So you were guiding them, but it's like this divine masculine was so messy, right? Still being messy. But they were being messy to keep your attention. This person thought if they could keep, you know, get you in competition, right? Make you feel like you're competing for their love and things like that. That's what I'm getting and they're still doing it, right? Meanwhile, this third party is chasing them, arguing with them about it. And you over here just like this in your own world. And this third party's like, it, it don't even, this divine feminine is acting like they don't even want you. Like, I'm here. I'm showing you all of this love. And you're focused on divine feminine. And divine feminine's living their life. Ooh. This divine masculine's headed for a dark night of the soul. There's an awakening. I feel like they keep finding themselves in these karmic cycles, right? But this is different. The way you love them is different. That unconditional love, that healing, loving, nurturing energy that you showed them, Divine Feminine, something's different here. And they can't detach from you. They're still attached to you in separation, right? They never detach from you. This is like, I feel like this Divine Masculine has like an anxious or something like that, anxiety, something to do with their attachment, right? Their attachment style, but with you, they were able to attach, right? Because your love is pure, you're real, right? This Divine Masculine doesn't know how to handle the Queen of Swords. Child, they messed up with the Queen of Cups. They don't know how to handle the Queen of Swords now. And they see the different dimensions, right? Like, oh, there's levels to Divine Feminine. So now they got all of these characters, right? You the main character, Divine Feminine. You the main character, right? But they got all of these people in the backdrop, these background characters, right? And this third party's losing it. They're chasing, right? They're engaging. They're chasing, right? And this divine masculine is focused on you. I'm picking up on the energy like there's people in the community to be sitting there like, you could be at work, you could be wherever, I don't know, you might be home, but I feel like people are sitting outside like, look, there go, there go divine masculine again, look at them sitting over there watching. Look at them. People in the community see it. Like, here come Divine Masculine again. Mm-hmm. Look at them over there sitting there looking like they messing with their phone or something like that. Just sitting there watching Divine Feminine. Watching Divine Feminine's house trying to see what's going on, right? People in the community already know this Divine Masculine is trying to get information on you. They Everybody knows this Divine Masculine is still in love with you, Divine Feminine. Uh-huh. Child. And this third party is finding out because there is somebody being messy too behind the scenes, right? There's somebody that done told this third party. Mm-hmm. There's somebody leaking information. Child, spirit, please give us more. And there's a transformation. Scorpio energy with this divine masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more. For the collective. Why am I getting the energy that there is somebody. There's somebody that. And the high priestess card is here. Boy, this divine masculine is sneaky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. And in love with you, too. Sneaky and in love with you. Divine feminine. High priestess card here. There, see, the high priestess card is clarifying this ten of pentacles, right? And also this page of wands. This divine masculine is watching someone else too. 
with that page of swords, there's another masculine, this divine masculine that's watching, that's connected to you. Wheel of Fortune, okay? So I'm seeing good karma, good energy, right? I feel like this divine masculine's intentions are pure, right? They have very pure intentions. I feel like they definitely messed up in the past, insecurities. And I feel like this divine masculine, the way they're going at it with you, got you side-eyeing them. The whole community is side-eyeing this divine masculine at this point. Yeah. I feel like this divine masculine is like just showing up, popping up to people's like, I don't know, cookouts and things like that, whatever. Anything that's an eye shot to you, this divine masculine's there. Child, they this divine masculine cutting up. Look, we see five of pentacles. Because they out in the cold. And they don't want to be out in the cold. But they don't they didn't know how to handle the Queen of Cups, let alone handling the Queen of Swords, right? But where they messed up, don't ever put a divine feminine in competition or expect the divine feminine to chase because when that energy shifts right there divine feminine pulls back like huh, you got it go do you i'll catch you when we come back in the frequency right because divine feminine releases control to the universe right i'm not trying to control no situation not chasing right that's like that Achilles heel, child. Look, now they done find themselves out in the cold. See, a lower vibrational pick me will chase them. And that's what's going on now. I feel like you're, you're, you may be getting the energy like there's a lot of messiness going on with this divine masculine and this new energy that they're, whoever they're dealing with. And that's because, like, they're chasing them and they're confronting them. Chaos, conflict, a lot of public, like, arguments and things like that. So it may seem like to you, Divine Feminine, this Divine Masculine has moved on. They're invested. But you may be wondering, like, why I keep seeing them, though? Like, why they keep... I'm seeing this Divine Masculine more than when we were together. Child, they using all of this. They using all of this. They want to get your reaction. And this third party is playing right into it. Because guess what? The conflict that you're hearing about or the conflict that you may be picking up on with this divine masculine and this third party is about you. Quiet as it's kept. Moon card. That's what's hidden. And this divine masculine's deep emotions. This divine masculine is so used to getting attention. This divine masculine is very attractive. I'm getting, right? Yeah. And I feel like you're very attractive too. And see, there's people commenting about you as well. Like, so are you with divine feminine or no? Because like, that's, this, this divine masculine keeps hanging around too. Because like, they're leaving it up to question. They're leaving it in question, right? If you are still together with them, this divine masculine is manipulating so much behind the scenes, creating so many illusions, all because they're afraid to contact you. They're afraid to come towards you because they fumble, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. This is my masculine is out here cutting up, right? I feel like they still fragmented doing this. Look at this. Trying to get the courage, the strength. And here's the thing. With this divine masculine, all they need to say is, I feel like all they needed to say. Because I feel like you've been working and trying to heal. Like self-care, you know. This divine masculine seeing you doing your own thing, right? Your energy is still beautiful. That unconditional loving, healing energy, right? Your light is still shining bright. But now this divine masculine is out in the cold with their empress, right? But they're trying to get the courage up. And I feel like this divine masculine is doing things, trying to spark a conversation, trying to evoke, right? This divine masculine, wow. Wow. 
Leo energy on the board. We got Pisces energy. We got Leo energy on the board. This divine masculine is headed for a dark night of the soul. They're spiraling, right? They're definitely spiraling. What else we got, Spirit? Knight of Pentacles. They want to get back on the right track with you. They want to communicate with you, right? They don't know what to say after what they did in the past as well. Mm. Spirit, please give us more. And you know what? This could be this third party. To whereas you pulled your energy back. Because I feel like you were like a hip player. You like, do you? Because this is, this is not my scene. I'm a divine feminine, right? Like they didn't recognize that energy that you embodied, that essence at the time. They recognized something. They didn't know what it was. And all they knew is that they were afraid of losing it. And they feel like they would end up messing it up. So they felt as though they needed to do something to keep you bound to them. And the only thing that they knew how to do was jealousy. And that was the one thing that would send you in the opposite direction. It backfired. Mm-hmm. It backfired. So now they're in this energy. They're, you release them to this third party. Right? What they were using to make you jealous? You're like, go ahead, do you. This ain't where they want to be. This was not what was supposed to happen. Divine feminine? No. Plans backfired. So look, you see that blueprint. They're back to the drawing board, right? Yeah. They're back to the drawing board. This divine masculine, I'm seeing, they're trying to make plans. They're trying to figure out how to come back towards you. It's like, what makes you tick? Because they can get this reaction out of anybody, right? In the past, this divine masculine was able to, you know, manipulate. I'm getting other feminine energies. But child, you pulled yours back and stood on business. And stood on business. That's why I'm getting this divine masculine's headed for a dark night of the soul, divine feminine. Uh-huh. They're headed for an awakening, right? Because it's like everything's spiraling out of control here. Wow. And it's like, I'm getting this third party is like really invested. And there's like chaos and conflict because they're arguing about you. And it's like, they're chasing this divine masculine. So this is what divine masculine is used to. But they want this energy from you. They want to be in union with you. They want this passion from you. Spirit, please give us more. Mm, 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 mm. Please give us more. What's ahead for the collective? Please give us more for this reading. What is going on here? I told you, dark night of the soul, introspection, going within, doing the inner work. Because I feel like this divine masculine is like thinking like, what is going on? This usually works in the past, but it's not working anymore. Not with a divine feminine. See? Trying to slay the competition. Child, five of swords. Mm-hmm. They want to fight for this union. They want to fight for this love. Spirit, please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. See? Sun card. That's this third party finding out the truth. Uh-huh third party finding out the truth about this connection, right? How this divine masculine truly feels about you is being illuminated, right? <laughs> Nine of Cups. You're this divine masculine's wish fulfillment. Look. They just think about you, reflect on you, the love and how you love them. See, this chess, not checkers. They used to play in checkers with these lower vibrational energies, right? They got a, it's like when I'm seeing chess, that's like knowing when there is no move to make because there is no game. There was no game with you, Divine Feminine. You were in a union. You were loving them. 
There was no, you weren't a false person. You weren't being manipulative. You weren't hiding things. You weren't, you know, I feel like all this, these unions that this divine masculine had been in prior to you, divine feminine, have been transactional. It's always like, oh, what can I get from this person? Or the love wasn't true. Very toxic, codependent energies, right? Whew. This divine masculine doesn't want that anymore. The awakening's happening now. This divine masculine doesn't know how to handle losing you, being separated from you. And this third party is finding out this divine masculine is still attached to you, still in love with you, still focused on you, fixated, hyper fixated on you, divine feminine. And really what this divine masculine truly wants is to take action. Spirit, please give us more. Mm -hmm. This is a protected union. You were placed in their life for a reason, for growth, to show this divine masculine that unconditional love does exist. Oh. And they're finding out now that unconditional love is true. Because you've loved them beyond things that some others would not. Right? Your patience, your kindness with this divine masculine. Seven of swords. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Ace of swords. This divine masculine wants to break this no contact. See, I feel like divine feminine, you were very difficult to read, right? You were very difficult to read to this divine masculine. And it's because you didn't react like those toxic codependent energies from this divine masculine's past. So they couldn't tell if you were truly invested or not. And I feel like they were very insecure. They had a very, I feel like, insecure attachment, right? But I feel like they couldn't tell. You were difficult to read. You didn't chase. You only attracted, right? And you pulled your energy back and stood on business. All this divine masculine knows is that the way you love them is like no other. This divine masculine has been a player, has been non-committal, right? Yeah, but it's you that has sparked the change. You sparked the change. You sparked the transformation. You sparked this evolution with this divine masculine. Wow. I'm just feeling like, emptiness right so there's like there's no emotions there with this third party is what i'm getting divine feminine this divine masculine is so detached and i feel like this third party is starting to become very desperate because they're so invested they're becoming very desperate to get attention from this divine masculine, right? There's a lot of chaos and conflict going on and it's over you. Look at this, three of wands. This divine masculine's changing. They're changing right now. That's what I'm getting. There's an evolution happening because I'm getting, it's like so much energy, look. They're not the fool anymore. This divine masculine is, they're being back, being brought back into alignment with you. They're being brought back into frequency with you. And there's a shift going on. Remember I said that dark night of the soul, this divine masculine is, they're getting ready to go through an awakening here. Not getting ready to, it's happening. They're 
there's no emotions for toxic codependent energies or from their past is what I'm getting. That's that emptiness. So I'm feeling a detachment from their past, Divine Feminine. This Divine Masculine is detaching from their past. It's See that? Like looking out the window, like moving on away from something. And the foolish energy is dissipating. Because now we have the Knight of Cups. Now this is the love offer. You see that? With the chess pieces. This ain't checkers. This is chess, right? But this Divine Masculine is realizing that there is... The only move that they need to make coming towards you is clarity and being vulnerable, right? Spirit, please give us more. Okay, I'm getting it now. Whoa, here it is. King of Swords. Awakening, wisdom, and that cold energy, right? Cutting energies off, severing ties. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Ooh. Five of Cups. See, this Divine Masculine is in deep despair. I'm getting very, just sadness, right? There's an element of sadness. When you see this Divine Masculine, this Divine Masculine is so used to games, right? And false energies, false persons, right? Not unconditional love. Not that, that, pure, innately pure energy that you had. You were real. You were pure, right? There was nothing fake about you. But this divine masculine was so used to games and manipulation, right? This divine masculine, I feel like, thought that you were just like moving on just to make them jealous or you were acting like you were in your own energy and, you know, you were good. This divine masculine seeing now, you ain't playing. This is really you. You're really who you appear to be. There was no illusions. It's awakening, right? Now the Divine Masculine is seeing what they truly lost. I feel like you were being real. Like this is you're a divine feminine. You're not playing games, right? So you were being real with the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. And this Divine Masculine was like so used to games and stuff. Huh, now they see the truth. Justice. Libra energy showing up on the board. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this is a this attempt to make you jealous and things like that. You don't operate in that energy. You you're in the frequency of love. You're in that frequency of love and um, unconditional love. So this messiness, I feel like you're looking at it, but it's like, what is going on with you? It's not penetrating you, right? It's not triggering you. It's triggering this third party because this third party is like sick. They done found out. They tried. They thought that they had won. They come between you and divine masculine here. This divine masculine child, this divine masculine got this third party riding past your house or riding past your job, riding around. They want people to like, to make you jealous. This third party thought that this divine masculine was invested in them and was like showing them off. No, this divine masculine called themselves trying to make you jealous. Because <laughs> this divine masculine three of pentacles wants to fix things, but they were making it worse. So now I'm getting there's an awakening. The Divine Masculine is releasing control, right? They're starting to release control to the universe and understanding the laws of attraction, right? And the laws of assumption. So I feel like the Divine Masculine is manifesting you. Yes, look at this. Mm-hmm. Two of Wands, taking action. But you see this, right? Just sitting there, gazing, right? reflecting on the times that you guys share but also too thoughts are very powerful these thoughts are powerful and this divine masculine is manifesting you and even with these arguments and disagreements about you divine feminine 
that is speaking you into existence. So your energy is definitely being willed. It's definitely being called. Your energy is being called. Yes. Mm-hmm. See, now this Divine Masculine, I feel like this Divine Masculine with the Four of Cups feels like you wouldn't accept their love offer because I feel like now this Divine Masculine is beginning. This is the energy that I'm getting in this reading. It's like... This Divine Masculine starting to tap into their higher self and they're starting to see what you see. And their foolishness, right? They're seeing things from a higher perspective now. I feel like this Divine Masculine is embarrassed or will be embarrassed at how they behaved. But child, they was a fool in love. I'm getting to be fair. I keep hearing that. To be fair. Fool in love, right? This divine masculine didn't know how to handle this connection. It's powerful, it's strong. And it triggered. It triggered a lot of deep wounds. I'm getting a lot of um, deficits, right? A lot of core issues in this divine masculine. This love triggered those core issues, right? And it's forcing this divine masculine to deal with it before this divine masculine will be brought back into your energy. And I feel like that's what's happening now. That's why I'm picking up on that awakening, right? This divine masculine with that two of swords, it's time for them to go within. Yes. So there's definitely a shift happening. But child, this divine masculine made a mess before they went into this dark night of the soul, right? Because this takes time, I'm getting, right? Woo! And I feel like this divine masculine is like, I'm getting that hermit energy, right? Oh, I'm picking up on that hermit energy. I'm seeing the star card. I'm getting eight of pentacles. Wow. Why did I just hear, I want to work on my relationship. I want to work on my union. I want to work. No, nah, I, I got to work on this. And I'm seeing the eight of pentacles, right? And that's the, and then the eight of pentacles, we have, then we have the devil card. And then we also have that fool card, right? And then we have the star card. So this divine masculine is awakening to what this truly is with you. And they didn't need to do all of these antics. They didn't have to do all of this. This is what caused the spiral. Now they're realizing the connection was already made. They didn't need to try and control this. It was so good though. It was so good. They had to lock it in and they ended up causing a tower moment. This love, this healing, nurturing, it was so good. It was euphoric for this divine masculine, right? So they became toxic. They started operating out of ego instead of love. They started operating out of their ego and no longer in unconditional love. And that's what caused this tower moment. And this divine masculine realizes that the connection was already there. You guys were already locked in. You guys have been locked in through the spiritual realm and past lives. You are this divine masculine's divine counterpart. The star card, true love, and a very good omen. That's why I'm hearing like this divine masculine could have said, they could be saying this to someone, child, they could have said it to the third party. I want to work on my connection. I want to fix this with divine feminine. I got to fix this. That's what I'm getting. Aquarius energy is showing up again. We also have Capricorn energy. Spirit, please give us more. For the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more for the collective. 
somebody could be Aquarius cusp or Capricorn cusper. I'm getting something like a cusp here. Somebody's on the cusp. I'm seeing here nine of wands. Child, this has been difficult. For this divine masculine to learn or to understand the magnitude of this connection, right? Nine of wands. But this is this divine masculine wanting to, remember I just said, I want to fight for this. I want to work on this connection. I want to fix this, right? Something is happening quick. We have the eight of wands, divine feminine. Eight of wands. This divine masculine making a move to repair things, rekindle, reconnect with you soon. Remember I said hermit? Uh-huh. And doing that inner work with the two of swords. Divine feminine, please. Divine masculine, divine feminine, please give us more for the collective. What are we? Oh. Okay. There's the attachment right there, Divine Feminine. Thank you, Spirit. There's, there's the attachment right there, the Four of Pentacles to show up. This Divine Masculine is holding on. I told you from the very beginning, see, now this Divine Masculine, there is there is definitely a dark night of the soul. Definitely a dark night of the soul happening, right? Right? Instead of trying to control the connection, this divine masculine is sitting in it and getting real with their feelings, releasing conditioning, right? And this divine masculine is feeling the unconditional love. Because I feel like also, too, after everything that happened, you're still cordial to this divine masculine. I feel like Queen of Swords, right? You're cold, but it's like there's still an element of love, right? That unconditional love doesn't go away just because of the Queen of Swords energy. And this divine masculine, see, remember I said that? Losing it. Yeah, it's like they realize now that you're their divine counterpart. You're their wish fulfillment. You're their, you're, you're their divine manifestation, right? This is, you have a soul contract. There was a soul activation that happened. And there's a bond here. And this divine masculine is still holding on. I feel like there was a point in time where this divine masculine tried to suppress their emotions. They can't, right? And this is all divine intervention. This is all divine intervention. See, didn't I say soon? There's a chariot card, right? Because there's an awakening. This divine masculine realizes now all they needed to do was be real. They didn't need to play games. They did not need to play games with you. And that's where things backfired. Spirit, please give us more. Mm-hmm. And it's like this being revealed to this third party and now I feel like this third party is so invested but this divine masculine is starting to pull their energy back which is causing this third party that's in this cycle this this I'm getting this cycle this toxic codependent cycle right it's causing them to have a meltdown and chase this divine masculine and I'm picking up on a lot of anxiety there's a lot of drama going on over here right oof see because this divine masculine is pulling their energy back. Magician card manifesting you. Mm hmm. And the more they argue, the more they're speaking you into existence. Wow. This divine masculine was juggling. This divine masculine was, their focus was on you. But they were juggling. It was like a whole scene of a play or something like this. And everyone was these characters. And you were the main character, Divine Feminine. But it was like a scene out of a play. And it was like this Divine Masculine was juggling all of this like a marionette, right? I'm getting like Puppet, the Puppet Master, trying to create this false reality, this illusion, right? To get your attention. 
Now this Divine Masculine is abandoning all of that is what I'm getting, or they will be. Mm-hmm. Spirit, please give us more. Wow. There's the chaos and conflict. I feel like there's going to be... See, this third party is now engaging in a lot of toxic behavior. Because this Divine Masculine... I feel like this Divine Masculine played with them. Because this Divine Masculine is truly in love with you and they wanted your attention, right? But now this Divine Masculine realizes the connection's already there. This Divine Masculine's having an awakening. And this Divine Masculine with the Eight of Cups is walking away, pulling their energy back. And look at this. Hmm. This is what's about to happen or is currently happening. Please take it how it resonates. Flip and switch the roles, y'all. Oh, see? And the Six of Swords. So I got the five, five of Wands. I'm getting the chaos and the conflict. And then I'm getting this Divine Masculine going ghost. Ghosting, walking away. And there's people who oh, I feel like the truth has been exposed. It's like people have exposed the truth. Because I feel like this third party, again, was going around and telling people like, yeah, me and Divine Masculine, we, we working on a future together. We're getting ready to do this and that. And they were delusional because people's like, this Divine Masculine be all around Divine Feminine, watching Divine Feminine. This Divine Masculine's in love with Divine Feminine. I feel like people expose the truth, but I feel like that's where a lot of the chaos and conflict came from. And then also, I'm getting that's why now it's like this third party started with chasing this Divine Masculine. Whereas you didn't chase, you attract Divine Feminine. And that third party energy, see this third party thought they won. <laughs> Divine Masculine felt as though they needed a safety net when they were with you. Because, like, I'm getting, when you're around people, Divine Feminine, they, people start to act in, like, an alter ego or something like that, trying to match energy with you. You have a very strong presence, and you have a profound effect on people, especially these masculine energies, because it's the way you love. You're pure. You're real. It's like people's eyes light up. People stare at you a lot too, Divine Feminine. I'm getting that. People do stare at you a lot. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. You could notice that, right? When you're out, things like that, people stare a lot. This is why I'm seeing it's your light. You have a divine, your divine light. And I feel like when you're interacting with other people, there's other f people watching this, right? So people are watching you when you interact. And it's like your beautiful energy, you just bring an essence that's undeniable, right? Mm. This came out in reverse, y'all. Look at this. The Three of Swords. This Divine Masculine is holding you in a very high regard. They see you as like something like a crystal. They don't want to break it. They don't want to damage it. Wow. Spirit, please give us more loyalty. This divine masculine wants you to know that you can trust them. I'm seeing Knight of Wands coming back towards you. Because this divine masculine realizes now they didn't have to do all of this. They sabotaged the connection by doing all of these things, right? This divine masculine realizes now they didn't need to do all of this divine feminine. This is a divine love. You guys have a soul contract, a soul agreement to be fulfilled here in this physical realm through unconditional love. And with that unconditional love, that's giving you guys being able to, you guys are able to fix this. 
because there's unconditional love. This 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 union, that's what it was rooted in, right? Wow. Mmm. This third party thought they penetrated this connection and they can't. You see that? This divine masculine is nostalgic for you. And also with the six of cups, that's giving that past life connection, right? Uh-huh. Twin flame energy. Mm-hmm. Spirit, what else we got for the collective? Thank you. You mean the world to this divine masculine. There's a new cycle beginning. Remember I seen that Scorpio energy, something coming to an end and a new beginning. And I feel like this is the old level of consciousness. This divine masculine is tapping into their higher self, a higher level of consciousness, right? So they're leaving that old conditioning behind, what they knew, what, what they thought that they had to do with regards to love. And that's the lesson here, right? That's the lesson. This divine masculine finally feels whole. Now that they're awakening, they feel whole. They feel the, that they are able to be loved. They deserve love. Spirit, please give us more. This divine masculine, I feel like there was a lot of damage. And I'm hearing paradigm. So something to do with the, their developmental time in their life. Something to do with their paradigm. There was a lot of damage done with regards to I'm getting abandonment and things like that. That has affected this divine masculine up until this point. You were guided to this divine masculine at this time. It was time for this awakening, right? Wow. King of Pentacles. Stability. Emotional stability. Mm-hmm. Emotional intelligence is what I'm getting. Also spiritual intelligence. If there's an awakening, there it is. King of Pentacles, I'm getting that stable energy and then I'm getting the Emperor. This is someone that is not going to be hot and cold. There's been a whole shift in this reading with this Divine Masculine. So please take this how it resonates or, you know, at what part of this cycle that this is happening in. Because I feel like I'm picking up on like multiple parts of this union, the cycles, if that makes sense. So please take it how it resonates. I'm getting Aries energy on the board. Because I definitely, this is like definitely the energy of past, present, and future. Aries energy, I'm seeing an abundant new beginning. But definitely an awakening, right? This person, I'm getting what is being revealed to this third party about your person's feelings for you. Got them losing it. I'm getting behind the scenes. And people expose the truth, right? But I'm also seeing a reconciliation here. So there's, there's a plot twist here. There is definitely a plot twist. Yeah. I'm seeing, look, Eight of Swords in their head about how you feel about them with the Queen of Wands. Because this divine masculine, at the root of all of this, at the root, the core, the root of this divine masculine's feelings is that they want a lifetime with you here in this physical realm. They didn't realize what a a divine counterpart was, what a twin flame connection was, what a soul agreement, a soul contract was. All they know is that they felt so different with you, but now they understand. And they want that mission. They want to be back on that mission with you. They're burdened without you, divine feminine. Look at this. And they're coming back to harvest. Oh, trump card. Look at that. The last card. The trump card I got here, four of wands. They want harmony. They want happiness. Divine Feminine, they want to be back in union with you. I'm getting, I'm seeing a ceremony here. A celebration of love, a ceremony, a commitment ceremony. And coming back into harmony with you, Divine Feminine. That's what this Divine Masculine is coming back in to harvest. Yes, they've been burdened without it. But they're coming back to harvest this divine union. They realize now 
they realize that you are their divine counterpart and they realize they didn't need to do any of this. So I'm getting some communication coming towards you, divine feminine. Yeah. And this third party is behind the scenes losing it. I'm definitely picking up on that energy as well. Because they're trying to chase what's not theirs. But to be fair, this divine masculine has been playing so many games to get your attention. So I feel like there's going to be some fallout here. But this was all this divine masculine trying to get back into union with you, divine feminine. Wow, y'all, I'm leaving this reading here, you guys. Thank you so, so much for stopping by as always. And I will see you for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love ya. Bye.